inside now. Uh, came in from just a beautiful walk. Um, sat down to read scripture. And the scripture that I read this morning just was amazing and beautiful. And I just wanted to share it. I'm just a man with his Bible. <laughs> reading in front of the fireplace. Um, I feel like I haven't done one of those uh, man in, just a man in the woods reading the Bible videos. Um, but uh, it, I th in a way, I think it was really good, you know, that I took that time kind of just to read and to absorb um, what I was reading, you know, before I just regurgitated it all back out to you guys without really taking it in and um, and thinking on it and meditated on it and, and living it. Um, that's the biggest thing, the biggest takeaway um, I think that we can take from spending time with the Word, spending time with the Lord is living what we read um, as opposed to just taking it as information out of a textbook. Um, you know, we have, to, we have to live it, we have to absorb that in like a sponge and it should be added to our daily lives. Um, and, you know, I hope and pray that for me that, that you know, that takes place. Um, so I'm just going to read scripture. Um, follow, feel free to follow along with me. Um, I'm reading out of the King James um, Version Bible. I just, I love reading out of the King James. And mind you, I'm ESL, bro. <laughs> I'm ESL. No, I, I joke with my wife about that. Um, but I think actually growing up, uh, Spanish might have been the first language. And then um, in school, I do remember being in like ESL programs, um, you know, coming up. Um, I, if I recall, I mean, gosh, like some of my other classmates too. I mean, I was in ESL class. And I think it was really in the beginning of ESL programs, um, at least maybe in the area that we lived in. But anyways, I digress, like, you know, I've come far away, <laughs> I'm reading King James, right? Uh, but I, I just love the way the King James uh, scripture just reads and, and how I hear it um, as I read it. Uh, it's beautiful to me, so that's why I enjoy reading out of the King James. Um, and feel free to follow along or just, like I said, I'll read. I'm Today, the word, uh, I was led to Ephesians 3. And I tend to kind of like write little notes and dates inside my Bible. Um, it just kind of helps me. And it almost as a reminder to myself, like, you've read this, but also remind yourself of this. You know, um, sometimes I just take so much information in. I'm reading, I'm reading. It's just like, wait, slow down a bit and take this in. Remember, remind yourself of this. Because, you know, yeah, you may, I may read it initially and, and try to live it and then over time you know kind of like as new information is put in this is kind of like falls back by the wayside and then you kind of forget it until you find yourself back in that position you're like wow no that's i needed to remember that i need to know that i truly am a son of god because i i i know i know myself sometimes it's like is this real life like well like god is this you like you know it's sometimes you know it's, it's I find it hard to believe, but it, it is it is the Lord, and I, I mentioned that in my live stream I did earlier out, while I was outdoors. It's like, no, this is all from God. This is from the Heavenly Father, and you know, and if you question that, you know, know that if I keep pointing back to the Word of the Scripture, know that it's from it's from the Lord, it's from it's from the Heavenly Father above. Um, so, anyways, I digress. I'm gonna start reading here, Ephesians three. I'm gonna just read through the chapter. Um, just see what, what the Spirit guides me, uh, you know, or what words the Spirit guides me to say, if any. Um, Ephesians 3. For this cause I, Paul, the prisoner of Jesus Christ, for you Gentiles, if ye have heard of the dispensation of the grace of God, which is given me to you, Lord, or towards you, how that by revelation he made known unto me the mysteries, as I wrote afore in few words, whereby, when ye read, ye may understand my knowledge in the mystery of Christ, 
which in other ages was not made known unto the sons of men, as it is now revealed unto his holy apostles and prophets by the Spirit, that the Gentiles should be fellow heirs and of the same body and partakers of his promise in Christ by the gospel. Wherefore I was made minister according to the gift of the grace of God given unto me by the effectual working of his power. Unto me who am less than the least of all saints is this grace given that I should preach among the Gentiles the unsearchable riches of Christ and to make all men see what is the fellowship of the mystery which from the beginning of the world hath been hid in God, who created all things by Jesus Christ, to the intent that now unto the principalities and powers in heavenly places might be known by the church the manifold wisdom of God. According to the eternal purpose which he proposed in Christ Jesus our Lord, in whom we have boldness and access with the confidence by the faith of him. Wherefore, I desire that ye faint not at my tribulations for you, which is your glory. For this cause I bow my knees unto the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, of whom the whole family in heaven and earth is named, that he would grant you, according to the riches of his glory, to be strengthened with might by his spirit in the inner man. That Christ may dwell in your hearts by faith, that ye, being rooted and grounded in love, may be able to comprehend with all saints what is the breadth and length and depth and height, and to know the love of Christ, which passeth knowledge, that ye might be filled with all fullness of God. Now unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask of or think, according to the power that worketh in us, unto him be glory in the church by Christ Jesus throughout all ages, world without end. Amen. There's some meat. If you want meat in here, there is power in here. And if you're reading in the Spirit, it's as if Paul himself is speaking to you. And that's why I love reading the Word, because it opens itself to me. It, it gives me that boldness. It shows me that I have boldness and access to the Father. That through Jesus Christ, I have eternal life. And it, it's beautiful. So um, just wanted to share that quick word with you guys. Whoever hears this, like, go to the word. Go to the word. And, and when you're in spirit, you'll see how it speaks to you. And, and how it changes and shifts your heart. And gets you closer to, to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ into the, the heavenly kingdom, the celestial city, um, as mentioned in Pilgrim's Progress, which I'm still reading through right now. Um, I love that book. I highly recommend it. Uh, beyond this book, like I, this, the Bible, number one. Uh, Pilgrim's Progress has been eye-opening and just really amazing read. Um, I, I also definitely recommend that book if you haven't read it. Um, there's actually also a movie you can see on Amazon. It's um, animated really great great family movie uh, great movie for adults like the message of pilgrim's progress is in that movie um it's they, really well done um recommend it but yeah i got to i'm gonna continue here on my day um uh, excited um uh, hit the ground running here uh, so with that stay blessed and you know i look forward to bringing you some more fireside chats and, and some more of the word um so yeah uh ephesians 3 read it um, read the whole chapter. Uh, I recommend it. Um, and just pray and, and ask the, the Lord to uh, grant you guidance and wisdom um, as you read the scripture uh, and peace.
peace in your heart and, and an open mind and an open heart. Uh, so with that, I leave you guys. Stay blessed. Love y'all.